Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily do high-end skin retouching in just 10 minutes in Photoshop. So if I totally don't know frequency separation from the very start to the very end, this is a tutorial that is going to help you understand that in just 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started with this for a tutorial. So what you want to do basically, you're just going to come right here and you're going to click right on the background and press Ctrl J twice to create two layers. And you're going to double click and rename that layer into low frequency and you're going to name this into high frequency so the low frequency layer contains the colors or the skin tones and the high frequency layer contains our textures so I just want to remain with the colors in the low frequency layer so select it and hide the high frequency layer simply come to filter then come to blind come down to Gaussian blur so this is the most important step for this tutorial so it is at this point when you determine the amount of skin texture that you want to remain with in your final image so you have to take the radius all the way down and move this up to a point when the most prominent details are just starting to disappear from your image so that is when you have to stop moving the slider but you can still notice the other facial structures within the image so just going to take this up slightly up to the point when the details are just starting to get lost so i feel like at around five that is a nice spot for us i'm just going to press ok and right now the image is going to turn all look blurry after the gaussian blur effect has been loaded over it so meaning we're just going to come to the high frequency layer and now only and only retain the textures within the image so you're just going to come and now we select the texture or high frequency layer and when we select the textures or high frequency layer just come back and activate it then you are going what we are going to do i just going to come with the high frequency layer selected just come right here to image and you come down to apply image so when you come to apply image if at all you have a 16-bit image these are the settings that you have to be using so come and select the layer from which you are you are going to extract the textures that is the low frequency layer and the channel has to be rgb make sure the blend mode is added if at all you have 16 right here then the opacity has to be 100 and preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale has to be 2 and offset 0 and make sure you turn on the invert option and you'll see the textures appear on this great kind of layer but if at all you have 8 right here meaning your image is going to be an 8-bit image just come and change the blend mode with the above settings like i've said select the low frequency layer the channel is rgb the blend mode has to be subtract the opacity at 100 percent the scale has to be to offset 208 and make sure invert is not checked and you'll have the same results on the gray kind of layer so since i have 16 right here i'm just going to come and select the low frequency layer channel rgb the blend mode is going to be add the scale is to and offset of zero opacity at 100 percent reserve transparency and mask cannot check and make sure i turn on the invert option and i'm going to simply press ok and that is going to apply the textures on this gray kind of layer so i'm just going to come the blend mode so i want to make sure that my image comes back so i'm just going to change this to from normal and i'm going to change it to linear light and you can say i have my image displaying right now so i'm just going to put this two in a group by pressing ctrl and left clicking on both layers and dragging them into this folder icon put them in a group and i'm going to double click and i'm going to name this two frequency separation so after doing this i'm just going to click on the drop down icon and i'm going to select the low frequency layer so when you select it remember we first of all want to even out the skin tones using the mr brush tool in this photo so just come right under the brushes simply right click and get your mixer brush tool and make sure you set it the way i'm going to tell you right now so make sure the hardness is at zero percent and make sure it is a clean brush right here and make sure you select this option which says clean the, clean the brush after each and every stroke the weight is nine percent the load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not checked because we only want to work with the information in the low frequency layer so in order to use the mixer brush tool better make sure that the caps caps lock is not turned on because when it is on your mixer brush tool is going to display this cross icon and we want it to be in circles so just press the caps lock key and in order to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to either 
increase or decrease on the size of the Mr. Bash. Remember, when you are applying this, you have to keep on playing with different sizes of the Mr. Bash tool depending on the area we are trying to blend or even out. So, just going to even out the skin tone colors. So, what I prefer to do, I turn off the texture or high frequency layer and I select the low frequency layer and I slightly zoom in the image by using Ctrl Command Plus on the keyboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start painting or even out. And like I said, you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of your Mr. Bash tool. So I'm just going to come and start painting. So how I'm painting, I'm left clicking and holding down the left click button and I'm going to start painting. And this is going to even out the colors and you can notice that this is going to at one point make the image look somehow plastic but that is the, what we want because the more plastic it is getting in this process the better the result we are going to be having at the end of this very process so let's just come and paint through those colors and we're just trying to even them out using the Mr. Bash tool so you have paint colors that are looking alike and we don't drag colors from one area to another. So I'm just going to reduce on the size right here and I work on these colors right here. So I'm basically trying to harmonize the transitions within those colors. And you can see it is getting a little bit plastic, but this means that we are on the right track. So you shouldn't be getting scared about all this. So I'm just going to come and paint through because I don't want this to be a long tutorial like my usual tutorials so i'm just going to come and paint through those areas reduce on the size of the mr bash tool i'm basically going to work on the nose area right here so if at all you are done using the mr bash tool but you have to take your time when you're trying to even out the transitions or mix the colors within your images so you have to take your time and you shouldn't rush through this very process I'm just going to come to the neck area and also work on it because skin retouching works on or should be applied on every area that has or contains skin within your image. So you shouldn't leave skin unretouched when you're working on your images using frequency separation. So I'm just going to show you what we have just done in a bit. So I'm just going to paint right on the neck area right here and the chest area. To even out the transitions within these areas and the next part is going to be the hands of our model right here so i'm just going to come and paint through those areas and like i said the more plastic the image is getting the better the results you're going to be achieving at the end of this very process so let me just show you this so this is lagging somehow so i'm just going to leave it to get done i know i have really loaded my pc too much and i have so many things running at the moment so i'm just going to come and even out every area that contains skin within the image so right now i'm trying to work on the hands of our model right now and you can see it is really showing a very nice and better progress so after you have done all this we are now going to come back and now activate or unhide our high frequency layer so what we want to do after that we just want to apply another technique that is going to have us a very nice and beautiful image so we're just going to come and unhide the high frequency layer, and you can see what we have right now by just using the mr brush tool to even out the transition so that's the quick before and that's the after right now so the technique that you can use right now you can just come and refine your image by getting the lasso tool with the new selection mode active and the feather is 22 pixels you can now zoom in the image by using Control command plus and now you can come and make a selection onto a skin just like that and now when you make a selection on the skin area Make sure you keep away from the eyebrows, the edges, and the hair, and just come to filter right here, blur, and come down to Gaussian blur. So when you come to Gaussian blur right now, you have to take this radius up to the point when you're just starting to have the best skin textures 
in your image so i'm just going to slide this up so usually i might apply the radius that i had initially by three and i just type in the value so you have to drag this and you have the base textures and simply press on ok so we want to apply this onto the rest of the skin of the model and this is going to make or fine tune the areas we may have missed out when we are using our mixer brush tool so right click and apply the gaussian blur and when the effect is too much you have to right click on the selection and you fade or reduce on the opacity of that effect in that specific area so basically that is how to fine tune the areas we may have accidentally missed out when we are using our uh, mixer brush tool to blend or even out the transitions within our image so i think that looks great so we want to remove the blemishes from the image so just come and select the texture or high frequency layer and get the current stamp tool the settings are going to be the hardness i prefer it between 30 and 40. the blend mode has to be normal or pass in the flat 100 percent make sure align this che checked and rather make sure current layer has been checked the sample is current layer and now you have to zoom all the way in by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and when you zoom all the way in reduce on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard hold down the alternate key on the keyboard to sample alternate and left click to sample the clean area across the blemish and simply release the alternate and left click over the blemish to clean or get rid of it from your images so we're just going to clean this up I'm sorry if at all you can see a black screen sometimes as I'm trying to work on this very image. So let me just clean this up. And basically you have to take your time while you're trying to clean up your images. So this is it for this story. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching. And you don't yet subscribe this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trolls and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating